Okay, welcome to another tutorial by sellfromtheweb.com. This tutorial is going to briefly go over how to process an order from the admin area of your shopping cart. So if you're not already there, go ahead and navigate to the admin area of your shopping cart. Go over to customers and orders and click on orders. Now, this one doesn't have any orders. You may or may not have orders in your shopping cart, but uh so we're going to have to go ahead and place an order. So we're just going to purchase any item here just to move right along at cart. And there's the item and yes, we want it. And let's go check out. Now, depending on how your shopping cart is set up, you may or may not have the same options here to either log in, create an account or uh, proceed directly to check out without creating an account. I'll go ahead and do that, but um, normally I don't like to have that set up because customers have to put in the same amount of information regardless whether they're creating an account or not. And uh, basically what happens is if they don't create an account, they can't check the status of their order. Um, so you might want to just have your customers uh, create accounts when they're using your shopping cart. All right, let's just put some information here. And you don't necessarily have to follow along. I'm just doing this so we can see the process of creating an order. Now, uh, this shopping cart captures order information, and then the owner of the shopping cart would have to manually process that information. This particular shopping cart does not have a payment gateway set up, like authorize.net or one of these other gateways. So, I mean, you can set yours up this way also if you want to save uh, some money on, you know, a payment having a payment gateway set up uh, and, you already, and you're already accepting credit cards, then you can actually capture the information and then manually uh, process the orders. So basically it's set up, it'll take the information, the CCV code, and it'll send it to the shopping cart admin. Now one thing, we have this one set up for security reasons. You can set it up this way also, where you capture the first four and the last four numbers of the credit card information. The middle numbers, you can have those sent to an email address that you designate. And so when you process this order, you'll have to log into the admin area of your shopping cart, pull up the order, and then pull up the corresponding email with the middle digits uh, so that you can go ahead and process the information. And it's done that way. Um, and you can do it this way if you want, just for added security, so that you're not storing the client's complete credit card information in the database. So if your database is ever compromised, your customer's information is safe. No one will be able to uh, steal their credit card information. So we'll go ahead and confirm this order. And bring us back to the shopping cart. Shopping cart empty. So if we go back to the administrative area, we're back here in orders now. Click refresh. We should see this order appear and there it is so now if you're processing an order so you would basically go ahead and navigate to the email address where the uh, credit card information is sent to now if you forgot where the email goes or if you want to change where the email goes you can navigate down here to modules click on modules and the one with the credit card with CCV or just regular credit card. So this one was set up with credit card CCV. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And over here to the right, you'll see uh, CCZ split credit card email address. This one's going to orders at selfremtheweb.com. Now, if you wanted to change that, you can go ahead and change that here. Just hit edit and put in whatever email address you want there. Notice also you can also change a few other features. Like, for instance, you can decide what credit card you want to accept. If you don't want to accept Discover, you can click Edit and just turn off Discover, um, and you can set it up that way. So let's go go ahead now and get back to the customers and orders. And so basically, if you have your e email open, you just go ahead in here and you can edit the status of the order at the same time as you're processing. So you would have your virtual merchant account open uh, so you can manually process this this credit card information. You you know get the information of the customer's name and address here. Scroll down, get the first four and the last four, 
and the expiration date for the credit card and then you would have that email with the rest of the credit card information you put that together go ahead and process your order and uh, once you're done with that you can go ahead and check off processing this will notify the customer if you have it checked off and you can append comments if you put comments in here to the email that you sent to the customer so we'll go ahead and click update and that will update the status and you would have already processed your credit card information to collect funds from the order and that is how you process an order that was placed on the website if you wanted to you can also create accounts and f create orders from the admin say if uh, you also want to do phone orders you can do that uh, from your admin area of the shopping cart also so we can just go ahead and do that just so you can see the process test user 2 and then I'll just make up an email here it's email at email and we're gonna use the same address 27 yes that's fine Raleigh Oops. And continue on down here. And credit card information. You can subscribe them to your newsletter if you want. Uh, newsletter subscription is an option for customers creating accounts. If they don't create an account, you can't um, you can't send them the newsletters. So and that's another reason why you would want to probably not allow customers to check out without creating an account. Okay, so once you're done with that, you have the option to create order. You can either click here or you can click here to create an order. And it will allow you to choose the customer. So you choose the customer. Hit select customer. And it's going to automatically fill in this information down here for you. And so you go ahead and confirm. Yes, that's the customer that I want to create an order for. And it will bring you to the order screen. So you can change... Uh, the billing address, if you need to make the billing address different from the shipping address, vice versa, you know, you can do that there. Also, you can put into uh, what type of payment method you want for this customer. So, for instance, if we were taking their credit card information, you put that in there. But um, we're going to leave that to payment on local pickup because, remember, if you're processing manually, you can process the credit card information on your own, uh, you don't need to put it in here. Um, so, we'll go ahead and add a product to this order. So, it gives us our categories. We'll, uh, let's, I don't know, let's sell some lighting. This customer wants the Tiffany lamp. So, we'll go ahead and find the Tiffany lamp or chandelier, whatever, and go ahead and select that item. There's no options. That's fine. We'll skip on forward quantity one so we'll go ahead and add that and at this point we are pretty much done and now if we wanted to go ahead and add shipping to this item we can go ahead and add the shipping fees 9.99 and go down here and we can change this if we wanted to if we've already processed notify the customer and update the order that the order has been processed. We've already put in our credit card information. And that'll let the customer know that the order has been processed. So once you're done with that, you can go to orders. And you'll see that the order has been put into the orders category here. And that's how you create orders. All right, see you in the next tutorial.